Good morning. It is Sunday morning, the day that I have been dreading for about five weeks now. Today is a day that I am leaving to go to Nashville. And today is a day that I have to tell my kids goodbye for about two weeks. They're going to come and visit me. But in the meantime, before all that can happen, there's a lot to be done still. Um, we're having our family over for lunch today, so I need to get that started. Right now it's 6.05, 6.06, and I've been up since 5, had a shower, got dressed, got some straightening up done, and I keep like getting out of breath, and not because I'm moving around, but like my heart rate is a little high today, and you know how... Like when you take a shower, you have like this order of events that you follow, you know, that you just always automatically do when you get in a shower. Not today. Mm -mm. My brain <laughs> is not working. I kept forgetting what I had done, what I hadn't done. I get out of the shower and I put my clothes on without putting my underwear on first. And then I, like I normally brush my teeth first thing in the morning. Like before I do anything else, I brush my teeth. Um, I didn't do that this morning and I kept thinking like I've forgotten something like there's something that I was supposed to do and I have forgotten it <laughs> that's what it was like my brain is just not working <sighs> but we're gonna make it through this day somehow one way or another we are gonna make it through this day it is now 7 50 and I am already exhausted <laughs> let me show you what I've done so far mashed potatoes are done and in the crock pot they'll stay there on warm through church we have green beans are finished. Carrots, I need to turn off, they're finished. They're in there. And I've got two hams that are about to go in the oven and they'll cook while we're at church. Um, Kathy, my mother-in-law, is bringing corn on the cob and rolls and drinks. So she's taking care of those, thank goodness. <laughs> Huge help. And these guys are getting up and getting ready for church. And we're straightening up the living room so we can vacuum. I've got to go get them up. And somebody uh, should not be standing in the chair. Uh, namely, the mama forgot to do the girls' laundry yesterday. Stop them! Hey, look at me. Look at me. She's just giving you a hug. Don't be ugly to her. Then you say, Adrian, come here. Then you say, no, thank you. I don't want a hug. Try it. That's much better than yelling. So anyways, I just, in the middle of everything yesterday, trying to pack, finish packing and stuff, I forgot to do the girls' laundry yesterday, so she had no clean church clothes. Thankfully, I had bought a few of the kids' um, Easter outfits last night. Boo. So she gets to wear hers early. <laughs> Well, it is now 8.50, and we should be leaving right now. In fact, the rest of my family are already in the van. Well, they're getting in the van right now. I am turning on my computer because I have a couple of documents on there that I need printed out at church this morning. I still haven't put makeup on, and I need to finish my hair and get shoes on. That's important. But, yeah. Yeah. Everybody else is ready and dinner is ready. That's what's important, right? Dinner is ready. <laughs> I really wanted to do my nails this morning. Y'all have had these wraps on for two, uh, yesterday was two full weeks. So like 15 days and I know it's not focusing that right now. They still look really good, but I wanted fresh nails before I went into surgery and was stuck in the bed for a few days. So maybe I'll have time to do that tomorrow. We'll see. My James. Uh, my papa. My, <laughs> my James. Uh, my my James. Look at this feast. So, Yummy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'll get drinks in just a second, okay? I 
Just a minute. felt really hot and um, like when I look at myself in the mirror I expect for them to be bloodshot like that's just kind of the way they feel um, and my nose has dripped just a few times today but I better not be getting sick like I just kind of have this like fever feeling behind my eyes um, I can't get sick <laughs> but uh, we are on the way I guess we might as well do this thing. Hey guys, so we stopped at a gas station to go to the bathroom. And I have to show you this. I, I have never, never seen this before. <laughs> so apparently, and now I can go pee. That bathroom was so weird. <laughs> I have never seen anything like that before. Have you, Mr. Lane? I never have, and that's what I told her. <laughs> it was funny. Apparently, you have to pay to pee. <laughs> now, if you buy something, then she would will give you a, a token for the bathroom door. But we needed to go potty before we bought anything so then in 1000 feet merge onto i-40 west navigation um so then she just like gave us 50 cents back after we bought something <laughs> so weird we made it to nashville and we are at miss joni's house we got here like 5 45 or something like that mm -hmm. so we've been here about four hours we had dinner with her she fixed a really yummy meal Yes. Super yummy. And um, got to chat and get to know each other. And um, it was fun. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. A lot of fun. Um, I thought I would show you a little bit what my living arrangements are going to look like here for the next few months. And then I'm going to go to bed because we're tired. And we have a busy, busy day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So let me show you where we're at. Okay, so this is... The room where I will be staying. Good size bedroom, and I was crack. I was uh, joking that the closet could be another bedroom. <laughs> I have there's so much space in here, and I did not bring much stuff at all. I think I brought maybe like eight outfits total, um, plus some like pajama type stuff. I'm sure I'll be living in nightgowns and robes here for the next little bit. So over here. I just set some stuff I need to take down to the kitchen in the morning. Got my oops, my uh, red raspberry brew in my tea ball, and I need to get some peppermint tea. I haven't, I didn't bring any of that with me. My prenatals, and down here I put in the bottom drawer all the baby's things and things I'll need for labor, and then over here. have a bathroom it's a Jack and Jill bathroom so I'll have I'll have um, 
a sink and countertop and cabinets. And then over here we have shower and toilet. And then over here, Christy will have her own spot too. And this is gonna be Christy's room. Um, let me find the light switch. There it is. Um, right now we don't have a bed in here. We did bring an air mattress, queen size, one of the big ones to go in here for right now. Um, hopefully we'll be able to upgrade her soon. But yeah, this is it. It's just so weird to me that like, this is gonna be my new home away from home. Like, it's so crazy. Oh. But I'm very thankful for, I'm so thankful for a safe place to stay in a safe neighborhood. That was one thing that um, was really important to me when we were looking for a place to stay um, with good people. <laughs> I'm just, I'm very, very, we, we have been so blessed. I can't say that enough. And we have just been so blessed by all the generosity and the love shown to us. And we are so crazy thankful to Miss Joni. Um, for letting us invade your house for a few months. Um, and we just definitely pray that God blesses you over and over and over again for your generosity to us. So I'm going to close out the vlog for tonight and try and get some rest because um, tomorrow we've got appointments and the big meeting with all the different doctors and um, signing consent forms, you know, where they tell us all the worst, terrible things that can possibly happen. All that good stuff. We have to talk about all those. So we can be ready for surgery first thing Tuesday morning. Yikes. I'll see you guys later.